What's happening everybody? We got a uh, customer's vehicle. A guy we go to church with uh, contacted me and said he had a go-kart he needed to get running because he has some family in town that wants to ride it. And this thing is a pretty sick go-kart. I've never messed with a Tumberland, but uh, it actually has heim joints on the front A-arms, which with Chinese four or go-karts, you don't see that. They're normally like really cheap plastic bushings. So uh, let's take a gander at it. So this is a Crossfire 150. You can tell it's been garage kept. The tires are almost like new on it. It's got these uh, pretty long shocks. Looks like they got quite a bit of travel. And there's the uh, the A arms I was talking about. All of them have heim joints. So basically, it needs a new battery on it, and most likely, it's going to need a carb. We're going to uh, drain all the gas out once we get it in the garage uh, because I don't know how long that's been sitting in there, and uh, we'll spray some brake cleaner in the carb. See if we can fire it up. So let's roll this puppy in there. So the first thing we're going to do is get rid of this battery, go grab us a new one from Royal King uh, because this one is shot. You can see it's got the spade style connectors. We're just going to get a standard battery. This wasn't the proper battery to fit back in the tray. So uh, off camera, me and Daniel got this thing to fire up with some brake cleaner. Uh, the air box busted when I took this little coupler they had on it off. And this wasn't even crimped like whatsoever. This is almost double the size of the carb. So the carb's got a ton of dirt in it. We're going to pull it off. It's pretty simple. You just got to pull the throttle cable off and then loosen up the, the uh, clamp. And there's a few vacuum lines normally on it. There it is. Ta da! Yeah! <laughs> so I thought I had one of these carbs in stock, but I don't. Uh, so we're going to drain it first. A little flathead on the side that. Oh my goodness, this don't feel good. <laughs> I'm going to try to. Okay, we got it. It should drain. Yeah, once you loosen that, the uh, hose will drain all the fuel out. Oh yeah. You know I hate flatheads, but they're the best on <laughs> on little screws that's tightened by Godzilla himself down in China. All right, so the bowl is off. Oh yeah, look at that. It's like green in there. So I'm gonna take some brake cleaner. Oh yeah, that's that's pretty rough. You guys see that jet, how bad it is? I mean, it's got rust all over it. So, so a seven millimeter wrench will fit this jet. We'll get it pulled out, it's rough. It, I mean, we could reuse it by cleaning it up, it is brass. But again, you can see how corroded that thing was. Slide the pin out, boom, Bob's uncle. Oh my goodness, that float is seized in there like a son of a gun. So that's going to be fun. Float needle's completely seized. So that'd be why it's not getting any any new fuel. There's the needle. It's pretty gummed up. So I'm going to clean all this stuff really well. Let's see if we can get this thing to run. It's, it's pretty rough. It would be better just to replace this thing. It's so gummed. And these carbs are 50 bucks. On go power sports with the performance jets already in them so we do have a go-kart outside with a new carb on it probably be better because how bad it's corroded it's probably corroded all up inside there so uh, we'll make a corporate decision and go from there the slide on this thing's completely seized will not move let's see if we can pry it see it's shut hey we got it unstuck all right so after messing with this for a little bit the needle got damaged when i pulled it out so it's not really worth i mean it's not going to seat back up 
So we're gonna pull that last blue cart, that Batman go-kart, since the engine shot on it and we're not gonna be using it. Uh, we're gonna pull the carb off it because we did replace it and these are all the same. And I cannot find my performance jets. I could, you know, port this up a little bit with some drill bits. Uh, but again, this thing's really bad corroded. A lot of the hose inside the carb are plugged up and you can see how bad it was leaking uh, dirt inside. So. We're gonna throw this thing away 50 bucks if we sit here and clean on this for an hour i mean it's not really worth the shop rate of what we charge to sit here and clean it Well, we got it running and the uh, exhaust is leaking like a son of a gun. These 150s have studs, two studs sticking out of the block. One of them's broke off flush in the head. So, uh, Big Daddy D Dan the man, I got to go to the utility board and get some stuff worked out on the property. Uh, so, he's going to pull the swing arm off because uh, there's no, I don't want him having to weld upside down yeah. <laughs> molten lava. <laughs> Uh, so he's gonna pull the swing arm off. It's pretty easy on these carts. Basically just unbolt the shock on the upper mount, unbolt the swing arm, and then the only thing he'll have to do is pull off the master cylinder and unhook. I think there's, you might be able to hook, unhook the main wiring harness. I don't even see where the wiring harness is. I mean, well, there's this one. I wonder if this is it going inside the frame. Oh. Hey, yep, it comes out. So the wires, oh, this has headlights on it. So the wire comes out of the frame up there. That's pretty nifty. They ran it through the frame. So uh, yeah, it looks like there's a main plug there. Is that it? Yep. So yeah, he'll just be able to unhook that. He's gonna throw it on a on a tripod and time lapse it. We'll probably go ahead and do a few little things like a voltage regulator. Uh, and I'm gonna get a new battery that'll fit that tray while I'm out. So uh, onward and upward. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is so fun. I love it. <laughs> Yes. Ugh. All right, so she's all put together and Daniel looked down and forgot to put the heat shield on. Happens to me all the time. <laughs> so we just got a slit in it so we don't have to pull it, the exhaust back off. Yeah. And boom, it worked fine. I did the hard part. I plugged up the wiring harness and put the air filter <laughs> on and hooked up the gas line. So. All right, so uh, me and Daniel was messing with this thing and it wouldn't turn over unless you shorted out the starter solenoid. But the starter solenoid would click. 
So me and Daniel both assumed that if the starter solenoid clicks, it's good. Uh, that is not the case. We learned something today. Yep. We we got smarter every day. <laughs> we replaced it with a Go Power Sports two pin. I think there's a two two wire and a three wire maybe to Go Power Sports sales, but this was a two wire and luckily I have one on the shelf and uh, put it on it. Hit it, Daniel. All right. On this go kart, you got to hold down down the brake, and we still got a little bit of an exhaust leak. Yeah. Yeah. So it's uh she's running. So we're gonna take it for a little rip snot in a minute. Look at that. Someone put a windshield on this thing. It's pretty sweet. You're getting the gut view. Yeah. That's what view <laughs> my gut gets every day. It's like, oh. <laughs> That's what my gut's staring at when I'm working on the workbench. <laughs> all right. So she's all put together. Oh, Daniel made a pretty sweet battery box. Daniel's a little handy, handy son of a gun. I got a gut view, so I got to bend down. If you could see how I'm having to <laughs> film this. So you can't see the battery tray, but he welded up some angle iron and whatnot and we used a uh, go power sports battery hold down daniel gets first dibs on driving so we're going to push this puppy out take her for a hoon snort all right bald head getting wet first drive she's got tons of power I bet we're about to get mud all over us. Yeah. <laughs> the back tire's right behind us. <laughs> I got one butt cheek on a seat. <laughs> she revs high. Yeah, I show more safety glasses. Yeah. <laughs> We're about to work on next week. Seem like it's running good, or is it bump steering any with you? No. Okay. I would have to do a big block swap or something. Yeah. It does feel a little more anemic than the, the uh, 150. Yeah, than Aubrey's? Yeah. Yeah, this is a tight squeeze. <laughs> Well, we got that thing all fixed up. I know these probably aren't the most exciting videos, but it's what we do uh, throughout the week in the shop. Um, with these 150s, you can find them super cheap, like that blue one I found for 250. The guy just wanted rid of it, and uh, I ended up putting a carb, which it ended up having bad rings in the engine. But you can put a Go Power Sports rebuild kit on one of these 150s, and I can get one on in like 40 minutes and have the go kart back running. So they're really simple. Most of these go-karts just need a CDI, a carb, or a, a starter solenoid. That's like 90% of 150s I've found for sale, that's what they need. So after riding it, when you get it up in high RPMs and hold it there, it would just spit like it was cutting out. So we went and put a new NGK spark plug in it 
and uh, still it did the same exact thing. Then we put a new performance CDI from Go Power Sports because we didn't have any stock ones in, and the thing ran a hundred times better. It, it felt like it made more power, so it definitely had a faulty CDI. So uh, make sure to check out the links in the video's description if you have a 150 and want any part that you saw in the video today. It does help the channel out and help us continue to do these videos. Buggy's coming back very soon. We got a lot of parts for it. We got the stainless exhaust built, so that's the next video you'll see on it. And um, we're going to start a new project very soon. Once we get the buggy really close to being done, we're going to start this new project that I think you guys are going to go crazy over. It's going to be an awesome vehicle and uh, just a crazy awesome vehicle. So uh, stay tuned. We also got the semi-independent go-kart back in the garage. This thing never performed because that Leaf and V-Twin sucked. So we're going to fix that problem. We're going to make it make a little bit more power. It'll basically perform like a stock 670 would. Um, but if we can get stock 670 power out of that leaf in on this go-kart, it'd be super fun. So stay tuned. Bunch of stuff coming, guys. And uh, thank you for supporting us. We have a pre-sale coming up on shirts and hats. We got a, a little different shirt design coming out. And we got some of these new uh, hats coming in. But I think we're going to do the old color, the gray and red. So watch out for that. And we'll be in Fabtech uh, very soon. So make sure come and see us if you're in the Chicago area we'd be happy to see you at the Sigmund booth and also you can see how good a quality these Sigmund products are these well tables so uh, through quantum machinery group so thank you guys for watching we love you and God bless